Hello HP Touchpad users, great news. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install the latest Android 7.1 Nougat builds on the HP Touchpad. I've constructed this incredible thread for you right here with all the latest links and information. So please like the video and subscribe. I've tried to keep it short and sweet. So let's get started. For step number one, we'll need to have both the Java and Novacom software installed. Follow my links here, get Java installed if you don't have it already, and get the universal Novacom installer. Download that, and you'll simply need to run that, and it'll download and install the proper drivers for your operating system. Now this is all automatic. There you go, and it's done. There's also a manual download there if you need it. Now, big warning, back up, back up, back up. We're gonna wipe everything on the tablet in order to get Android Nougat on there. We're gonna have to repartition the system partition. So back up everything, we're gonna lose everything, move it all to your PC for safekeeping. Now, step number two is entirely optional. If you've already removed WebOS or you wanna remove it, just go right ahead to step number three. And I put this all hidden because WebOS isn't really well supported anymore, but I've got instructions for preserving it on the tablet and going ahead with this install. So follow this little link here if you want to keep it on the tablet. For step number three, we'll need to enter WebOS recovery mode and connect the HP touchpad to our PC with the USB cable. The easiest way to do this is to power down the tablet and then press and hold down on the volume up button, do not release it, and then press the power button turning the tablet on. Once you see the big USB symbol on the screen, plug it into your PC, you're ready to go. Step four, download, extract, and run JC Sullen's touchpad toolbox. You can download it right here. There's two working links. Now on Windows, we'll need to run the windows.bat file. For Linux, follow this command, and for Mac, follow this command. More information in JC Sullen's touchpad toolbox full thread. You can find that at the links at the top of the page. Download that from the link, put it on your desktop. It's zipped, extract that folder, and then open the folder up like so. And then we'll need to run this bat file right here. I'm running Windows to get it started. Then I'm gonna continue over on my tablet on the touchpad toolbox main interface menu. You'll see lines of script scrolling down the HP touchpad and then you'll be greeted by the touchpad toolbox main menu. Here we are running the touchpad toolbox. In the left hand side, we have the main menu. In the right middle, we have the help menu, and on the bottom, we have the output menu. In order to interface with the touchpad toolbox, we can either swipe the screen with our finger or press the volume button up and down to move up and down the menu. And in order to make a selection, we'll need to press the home button. To begin, scroll down to complete data reset and press the home button. If you wanna keep WebOS, skip this step. You'll need to press the home button and make the selection three times here. It really wants to make sure you're sure about wiping all your information. Once you've done this, everything will be gone. So make sure you're backed up. Once you've made the selection, just wait patiently. Don't do anything. The tablet is being wiped. This is a crucial step. Do not interfere with it. When you see done on the output menu, you've completed this step. Now swipe up with your finger and go to Install Android and select that with the Home button. The media volume of the HP Touchpad will now be mounted to your personal computer. Now go back to your computer. Here I am on my desktop. You'll need to explore your computer and find the mounted HP Touchpad. Here it is. Open it up and you'll find the TT Install folder. Open that folder. Now we need to download the required files and put them here. Go back to the guide. We're in step six, installing Android. Here are the three required files. You need one of each. It's a ROM, a twerp recovery, and the gapps. Now we need to install this older version of Android CM11 first. Now this is probably the best, most stable, most mature build for the HP touchpad. It's our rock. If we have any problem with Nougat or newer builds, we go back to this one, and I highly recommend this. So let's get started, download, each of these files and do not unzip them. Now you'll need to place them on your desktop. Now I recommend making a folder because we don't want to confuse them with our other files we're downloading later for Android 7.1. So here are my files, get them downloaded, and then we'll need to place them into the TT install folder on our HP touchpad. 
copy and paste these files over and wait for it to complete. Now that the three required files are located in the TT install folder on our HP touchpad, close up the folders and continue over on the tablet. On the tablet, swipe down and select Unmount Media Volume and press the Home button. Now the touchpad toolbox will inspect the files and make sure they're all correct. If you have any problems, go back and make sure you've downloaded the correct files and haven't mixed them up with Android 7.1 files. Now before we can complete the install, we need to do the very important step of adjusting the volume partition sizes. Scroll down and go to Adjust Volume Sizes and select it with the Home button. Scroll down in the menu and select CM Data, press the Home button. Now from here we'll need to unallocate some space so we can add it over to the CM System Partition. Now I recommend getting about a gigabyte of space. Now we already have 800 megabytes already selected for KitKat, so this will bring it up to 1.8. So keep that in mind, you can see all this information down at the bottom. Go to minus 1024, press the home button. Once you do that, you'll see it adds to the unallocated space at the bottom. Now scroll back up and select back with the home button. Now scroll down and select CM system with the home button. Now we want to add that free space. Scroll down to plus 1024 and select that with the home button. You can see our unallocated space now disappears and is added to the CM system partition. Now we're ready to go ahead with our install. Go back up, select back, press the home button, pull up, select apply changes and press that home button. Now go up, select yes to the installing our operating system and Android will automatically be installed. Now just sit back patiently and wait for this to happen. Once KitKat is completely installed on the tablet, make sure it's plugged in with the cable and go back to your desktop of your PC. Now you'll want to explore the device and find the HP touchpad, open it up, and we'll need to transfer over the required NuGet files. I recommend putting them in the download folder, so let's open that up and get ready. Then go back to the guide in the forum, we're now at step 8, and we want to download the latest Android 7.1 builds and recovery. Right here is my recommended downloads. Now the most commonly used model is the Wi-Fi model, we'll need Flintman's custom recovery, and of course the GApps file. Now there are some optional ROMs, if you have the 4G version, of the tablet instead of the Wi-Fi version, get this ROM and replace it with this ROM. Do not try to install two ROMs. And there's also a CyanogenMod 14.1 ROM by Invisible Case. You can download and check that out as well. Again, just replace it with this ROM file here. This is the recommended default setup, however. So let's start by downloading these three files, just like before download them to your desktop. I recommend putting them in a folder so you don't get them confused. Once you've all got them in place, open it up. And then you also want to open up the download folder on your HP touchpad. Again, copy and paste the three files over to the HP touchpad and wait for it to complete. Now that the three required files for NuGet are on the tablet, the ROM, the recovery, and the G apps, close everything up and go over to the tablet. We've got Android installed and running. Now we'll need to hold down the power button and select reboot from the menu and click OK. Now you'll see the Mooboot menu come up. Press the volume button and select twerp. Press the home button to go into it. Here we are at the twerp main menu. We need to go to install to get started. Now on the left menu, we can see the download folder. Select that by clicking it. And here is our NuGet files. First off, we need to select the recovery and flash that. Select it and swipe to install it. It's very quick. Now that we're done, select reboot system. Now we're going to need to use the volume button again to select twerp from the menu and the home button to go into it. Now this will load the twerp that we just flashed. And here we are in Flintman's twerp recovery. Just swipe this the first time you see it. And now first off go to wipe. In the bottom left hand corner go to advanced wipe and put a check mark beside the system partition 
and swipe to wipe that. Once complete, we want to go back to the main menu. You can actually hit the little home shape button in the middle at the bottom there. Now go to install. Select the download folder again and here's our NuGet files. Now first select the ROM file there. Now before we swipe it, on the left side we can add additional zips. Click that button there and select the gapps package as well because we're going to need to install both of these and before swiping there's a button we can put a check beside to do reboot once it's complete so it takes a fair amount of time swipe it to begin the process and the screen may actually turn itself off you can touch it again or push a button to turn it on but be very patient because this install takes quite a bit of time and once you've waited you'll see the cool ever evolve logo flashing up and you'll know you're on your way to Android 7.1 here I am running Android 7.1 Nougat on my HP touchpad. Absolutely incredible to see this 2011 fire sale tablet running the latest builds. We've had incredible development and support for our tablet. And the performance has really gotten great with Nougat. Even the battery drain's looking great. On that note, I want to just refer you back to the second post in my guide here. And I have my ROM guide, so I have all the details about what's working, what's not working, that sort of stuff. I have some pictures of the battery drain, actually, a comparison. On the left, we have Nougat. On the right, we have KitKat. And we've actually gotten it down to around minus 2 MA, minus 2 to minus 15 with some random spiking in Nougat. It's actually looking better than KitKat at this point, which is absolutely incredible to see. Even the performance is great. I'll look over here with Antutu Benchmark, Nougat on the left, KitKat on the right. We're running 17,000 points for the score in Nougat and 15,000 in KitKat, so we've got a good performance increase. The only thing to note is that the 3D score is actually better in KitKat than it is in Nougat, so we've got room for improvement. But these builds just keep getting better, and it's just incredible to see development go this far for the tablet for this long. Scrolling down, look in the third post if you're having any trouble, you can't get the tablet to turn on or whatever. I got a troubleshooting section. Finally, we must give special thanks to the developers that made this happen. Of course, Flintman for getting Evervolve 7.1 happening on the HP Touchpad, JC Sullins for his incredible development in the Touchpad Toolbox, Flemmer, Dork Airy, Invisible K, Milak, Shumash, and anyone else I may have forgot to mention along the way. Big thanks to everyone who helped out. Please like and subscribe to the video. I'll see you in the next one.